What's up? We are going to build an AngularJS custom directive that simulates the bootstrap simple div class container, div class row, div class column, medium six. Instead of having to do that, we're going to be able to type bootstrap into our HTML and that will give us what I just described. So let's start the timer guys. Five minutes. Start it down. It's going great. So um, let's get started. Basically what you see here, I have bootstrap loaded in through a content delivery network. That's great. Um, you know, you can follow this after my video, grab it, put it into the link tag. After that, you need Angular, the script source for that. If you don't know where to find that, go to angularjs.org. And then after that, you hit develop, download, go to the one you want. I'm using 1.5 release candidate two. grab either the minified or the regular uh, version and grab that source code and put it in. Okay. After that, it's very simple. Now we want to create our Angular app. The way to do this, store it in a variable, say Angular. We want to create a new module, which is just that name for an app. First parameter will be the name. I'm going to just call it app. Uh, very simple and um, not a function. Second parameter will be an empty array. Um, the reason for this is because we're not injecting anything. Don't worry about that now. That just means we're using Angular how it is right now. We're not adding anything to it. Um, yeah, so second thing, create a controller app because this is our app right here, because we have a store in this variable, we can say app.controller. Uh, first parameter will be the name, so we're gonna say main controller. Second parameter will be a function. We're not gonna go over scope here. I choose to use this. Uh, I'm gonna call it VM, which just stands for view model. The reason is because this is this inherits everything within the scope of this controller and has ac access to it as far as data binding. Um, Angular's controller sort of acts as the glue between the model and the view, so that's why I'm calling it view model. So to spell it out, I'll just say view model for everyone, so you don't forget. And I'll just create some dumb, dummy data view model dot dot um, name equals Theo view model. Just remember, this is just an object, pretty much that has access that it, its scope is from here to here. View model dot age is 22, and view model dot friends create a random array of friends. John, Rick and James, and uh, let's create a directive now. Great, app.directive, same sort of syntax. We're gonna call it bootstrap, and it's gonna take in a function, and what this function is gonna do, it's gonna return object literal. The first parameter, we're just gonna restrict it to just be an element, which just means it can't be used as a class or a comment. The second thing will be a template. You can use a template or template URL. Template URL means we're grabbing the HTML from a relative file, uh, as long as it's in a relative path. But let's just define it in here. So we're going to say div class equals container, um, div class equals row, this is just bootstrap, div class equals column medium six. Um, after that, uh, that's good. We're going to create an h3 in here. I am bootstrap and h3 and let's close out our divs. There's three of them. And uh, and let's do one thing after this. Let's do, we're gonna put in a tag called ng-transclude, which just means that when we output this uh, bootstrap um, tag, we can actually have HTML in there and Angular will look at it and it won't um, ignore it because we have this ng-transclude. So the way to do that, we'll put transclude, set that equal to a Boolean of true. And uh, now let's hook up our Angular app. Let's do HTML ng app. Which app is controlling this app? Same name, same name. And now we want our body controlled by our ng controller, which will be main controller, because that's the name of our controller. And Angular allows us to do the as syntax, so main controller as main. And um, yeah, great. So we got that going on. And now let's put in our bootstrap tags right there. And uh, let's see what we get so far. Open in our browser. I am bootstrap. And uh, there we go, body, I am bootstrap, you can see it right there, that's it. And um, let's try and bind our data right here, main.user, or main.name, sorry. And uh, let's see if we go back, Theo, there you go. If we had ng transclude, it's not set to any Boolean, this should be ignored by, by uh, Angular. And the last thing I wanna show is you could put uh, replace, replace set to true and what this will do is it'll hide uh, bootstrap and we should just see the contents of what is going on in there so guys thanks for watching we have about 27 seconds left that's it really um, the last thing I could show is um, we could sort of uh, we could do um, 
let's see, we could span, we could ng repeat equals uh, friend in main.friends and put friend. And if we spit this out, we should see our friends right there. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Five minute bootstrap or five minute Angular JS tutorial, how to create a custom directive. Awesome. Comment, subscribe, like. Thanks a lot.